Hi everyone and welcome to this week's runs. So this is it, the final run of the final week of training before the UK Ultra South Downs 100 miler. And uh, yeah, it's an absolutely beautiful morning today out and about. So long run Saturday and we're getting it done early doors because we've got a busy day ahead. But before we get into today's run, as always, let's go through a little breakdown of what's happened in this final week of training. So, this week started off Monday with a nice uh, 21k, I do believe, out on the trails. I went out around Chantries with Adam, so it was nice to see him again. We haven't run together in a little while, so yeah, nice to have a little catch up with Adam on Monday uh, to kick start this final week. Then on Tuesday, zero introduction needed for Tuesday what happens but uh, 27 kilometers out on the trails of the GTR gang absolutely stunning evening uh, the weather really really started to turn then and the temperature started to climb so yeah a nice warm bright evening on Tuesday and uh, yeah quite a large group so yeah, it was really good to see some new faces and also some returning familiar faces as well so yeah awesome run on Tuesday night then on Wednesday once again rest with a bit of strength and conditioning so no running on Wednesday and then on Thursday I went out with uh, Mr Dan Runs for a little evening run and bumped into Danielle which is wicked so Danielle is actually going to be my pacer for the South Downs 100 and uh, yeah it was just coincidence that we bumped into each other and once again it was a wicked evening like some stunning views lovely sunset and uh, yeah it's just nice to be out in some glorious weather and long long may it continue anyway Friday was another rest day and then that brings us on to today so the plan for this run this morning I'm gonna head out towards Holmbury Hill so currently heading down towards Shear now we're gonna head over that way but uh, yeah it should be about 28 ish k I think for today but we'll see how we get on anyway could be less could be a little bit more see what happens anyway I'm gonna crack on get myself down to Holmbury Hill and then we'll have a little talk about kit and plan for race day so here we go
Okay, so here we are on top of Hornbury Hill and it's an absolutely stunning morning this morning. Sun's already high in the sky and it's only quarter past six and it's already relatively warm. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a warm day, I think today. Anyway, let's quickly go over all the kit that I'm gonna be using for the uh, South Downs 100 mile. So starting off on my feet, tried and trusted Speed Goat 5s down there on my feet. Along with those, I'm gonna be wearing in gingy toe socks. I really enjoy using in gingy toe socks. Um, they help keep the blisters away and also the fabrics are really soft, they're really comfortable and they get the job done. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be having on my feet. For shorts, I'm gonna be wearing my shortest pair of shorts that I own because it's probably going to be a really warm day. So I want to, with everything that I'm using, try and keep it as breathable as possible and lightweight. So yeah, these three inch New Balance GTR shorts are gonna be on my legs. And then for storage around my waist here, I've got my Compress Sport Free Belt Pro. Now I do have an Instinct belt that I really enjoy using. And in terms of storage, that's probably the better option. But the fabric used on this compressed sport um, belt is a little bit more lightweight and breathable. So for that reason alone, I'm going to be using this one for the uh, South Downs. It's not going to have a lot of stuff in it anyway. I've got my phone in here um, and then a couple of bits of tissue, you know, just in case nature calls. Um, I'll probably put these arm sleeves in there as well um, at the start of the day just to carry them and then there'll be a few um, sort of sachets of drinks mix in there on the day as well like Tailwind and Active Root. So yeah in terms of storage I'm not really going to be having a huge amount of stuff in this belt it's literally mainly to carry my phone. So um, yeah that's what's going in there. Now moving up on top this is the thing that will probably change the most throughout the race um, obviously weather dependent hopefully it's going to be a warm day so I should start out in this vest top that I've got on now um, but if I need a little bit of shoulder coverage you know maybe I'll stick a t-shirt on or whatnot but um, yeah that's what I'm going to be having on my body uh, hydration vest I'm going with the uh, ultimate direction Ultra Vest 6.0. Um, I really enjoy using this vest, it's quality. I used it in the North Downs 100 and it got the job done. Again, this one is slightly more breathable, I feel, than my um, Instinct vest, which is a 10 litre, the X10. So yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Again, it's tried and trusted. I know it's gone over 100 miles. It can carry everything that I need with ease and have a little bit of extra space as well if I need to carry a few more things, pick stuff off on an A station or whatnot. So. Yeah, we're going with this one. Um, and then on my head, as you can see at the moment, I've got this buff Sinto hat on, um, but the bucket hat could be coming out to play on race day, because as you guys may well know, uh, I do enjoy wearing bucket hats, especially in the summer. So um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, arm sleeves quickly. Um, yeah, so I'll be wearing these probably in the evenings or uh, early morning, just to sort of like keep my arms warm and keep the chill off if the temperature does go down. Um, other than that, I think that's about it in terms of um, clothing. I do have to have the mandatory rain jacket, so I'm gonna be using my uh, Innovate uh, little sort of really breathable, lightweight race sort of like pull-on jacket. I don't expect to use it at all. It's literally being packed in the back because I have to have it to tick a box for mandatory kit. So that is the lightest jacket that I own, so that is the one I'll be carrying. Head torch, I'm gonna to be using my uh, Moonlight, Brightest Day 800, quality head torch, super bright, gets the job done, absolutely no issues with that. Used it for the North Downs way and it worked a treat, so we're gonna be using that again. Um, and then yeah, so uh, in terms of hydration and nutrition, then let's quickly go through that. So I've got a few different things that I'll be carrying with me. Flapjack I don't have today, but I will be having some flapjacks in my bag here. But uh, things I have got with me, so, uh, precision fuel I've got a couple of the gels and chews use those all the time really enjoy them so I'll be taking a couple of them with me on the day um, some things new that I've been using over the last sort of couple of weeks and months are these few things here so I've got a uh, caffeine bullet ginger raws uh, these are like ginger chews with caffeine in them um, really good do give you a boost of energy for sure plus the uh, ginger sort of if you're having sort of any stomach issues hopefully that will help settle your stomach having a bit of ginger in there and then these voom bars i've been using as well these are chews as well but they're sort of like a hard bar i liken the uh, texture of these to sort of like a fudge so they're sort of slightly hard when you chew them they sort of melt and sort of crunch down a little bit 
a slightly odd texture, but um, yeah, pretty tasty. And basically, I'm having these for a little bit of diversity of flavour because the uh, precision fuel ones are pretty much flavourless. They're just sort of sugar. Um, so yeah, these are just for a little bit of added flavour. Um, and that's about it in terms of uh, nutrition. Hydration, I'm going to be using a mixture of active root and tailwind, um, obviously, and then just regular water as well. If I get sort of sick of the flavours and just have a little bit of uh, regular water. But I think that is about it. Um, if you have any other questions about any of the other kit, please do drop it down in the comments and I'll get back to you. Obviously there is a mandatory kit list as well. You've got things like first aid and kit, foil blanket and things like that. I've got all those in the back um, in a dry bag. So yeah, they're, they're there, they're all ticked off. So yeah, that's that. Um, in terms of targets and goals, for this race as well so i haven't really talked about it throughout the training series but i've had a think and basically i want to try and beat my north downs way 100 time i think that's the main goal for this race i think it's doable especially with the amount of training i've been put in and on paper the north downs way is slightly tougher than the south downs so hopefully i should be able to beat my north downs way 100 time so sub 22 hours i guess is the a goal for this race and then uh, my B goal, I guess, will be sub 24. And then C goal will be just to complete it regardless of time. But ultimately, it's all about having fun, enjoying the experience and um, yeah, just enjoying the journey, I guess, of the 100 miles across the sort of South Downs. So, yeah, I guess that's about it. I suppose that's all left to say is thank you very much for all you guys support over this last 10 weeks of training. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, all the lovely comments that you guys have left have really helped keep me motivated and pushing forward and getting all the running done and all this training done ahead of this race so yeah i'll leave you guys now on the top of holmbury hill i'm going to turn around and head home and enjoy the last little bit of this final training run but uh once again thank you very much for all your support and i'll see you in two weeks time at the start line of the uk ultra south downs 100 miler so that's it for now take care stay safe and i'll see you in another video Peace.